Basecare Magazine here at the 2020 NAM Show, and we're meeting with our good friend John Files, stopping at the GR Base booth, and they've got some pretty darn interesting cabs and cool stuff that John's going to tell us about. How are you doing, John? I'm doing well. How are you doing, Tom? Always good to see you. It's great. Thanks for coming out, you guys. The most interesting thing we have this year at the NAM Show is really a new class of speaker cabinet. We talk about lightweight cabinets all the time. I'm considering this a new class. I call this featherweight. It's much lighter. It's much lighter than the lightweight cabinets. 30 to 40 percent weight savings on traditional wood cabinets. Our wood cabinets are very light as well, and they've always been leaders in that. But these cabinets are unique. They are not made of wood. They're made of carbon graphite, inner and outer, with a foam core in the middle. Uh, normally, uh, you'd be looking at uh, a much heavier cabinet. Over here on this side, we have a 410 cabinet. A lightweight 410 cabinet would be around 58, 59 pounds. This is a 33 pound, 1200 watt, 410 cabinet. Never before has there been anything like this on the market. This is a unique, this is a disruptive product and a category buster, most certainly. And to just on the other side of the 410, we have a 210 here, 22 pounds. You can pick it up with one finger. You don't even need a whole hand to pick this cabinet up and you can gig with this quite easily. We have a full range. Here's a 212 900 watt cabinet, 29 pounds. It's a small footprint. This is called the 212 Slim. Small footprint for a small stage. Here's uh, another 210 that we looked at. Here's the 208 on this side. Two 8 inch woofers, 17 pounds. Extraordinary design. Here's a 112 cabinet, 17 pounds, again. You don't need to use your whole hand, you can use one finger for this cabinet. And the smaller 112 cube cabinets as well. These products are all made in Italy, proudly made in Italy, 100%, uh, great designs. We have a full range of amplifiers that we've, you've seen before, I think. They have the 1-800, a dual channel 800, uh, we also have a pure drive pedal, which has a tuner, has a drive circuit, a DI, a preamp, uh, lots of EQ. That's something we released last year, and new for this year. Where's the dual? Oh, I'll show this. This is a sneak peek, folks. This is, this is the uh, prototype. If you say you want a small amplifier, this is your small amplifier. Four band EQ, deep and a bright switch, input gain and master level on the back, headphone in, or headphone out, uh, auxiliary in, instrument input, speaker output, and a balanced TRS jack. About 200 watts power. It's powered by USB-C connection. Don't know what the final price on this is. Check with us, about two or three months out, we should know more information on that. Um, over here, we've got the uh, new in-ear monitors. Four different models of these. Two drivers per ear, four drivers, six drivers, and ten drivers. These are optimized for bass players, but they are full range. They'll satisfy anybody, but if you really want the low end that you've been missing because you're using ears instead of an amplifier, this will satisfy that. So we've got bass players in mind all the time. We still have our wooden cabinet range. And uh, so here we have a new unit, floorboard, dual preamp, uh, dual inputs and outputs. On the back, you've got XLR outputs, two of them, one for each channel, tuner, optical compressor, drive circuit. Price is still to be determined, but we should know that very soon. And that's going to be another great piece. You can use that independently or with ears or on your pedal board. Is this available now or coming soon? Coming soon. Very, very soon. The, uh, the lightweight AT series of cabinets, uh, Aerotech cabinets, should be available in about a month. Something like that. Wow. Any other questions? All right. Great stuff, John. I mean, this is amazing. If you guys haven't listened to GR Bass Gear, you need to check it out. Very, you know, pure, full, clean tone. And... Uh, can't wait to see what you guys are doing with these really lightweight cabs and that little tiny 200 watt head is uh it's gonna gonna get some attention sounds great thank you very much for coming out i appreciate it thanks guys